Hi, my name is Patricia, and I will be presenting and talking about the healthcare system between the United States and Japan. So, what is healthcare? The healthcare is a way to maintain um, and restore our physical, uh, mental, and emotional well being uh, by licensed professionals um, in many aspects as to like medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, nursing. Um, and even like physical therapy, stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of really health professions that help make the whole healthcare system. So, um, what is the healthcare in our United States? So, United States doesn't have a universal healthcare system coverage. It is made of um, healthcare programs that can be quite high in price that people would have to pay um, out of their checks either by like their job or they find their own personal health care in which they pay out of pocket as a another expense added to their expenses. Um, the United States spends so much on health care but has poor outcomes. Um, after what I've read, um, it is rated as to our country being like wasting a lot of money into health care but not too much um, goods come out of it in a way. Um, the United States healthcare coverage is made up of a wide variety of plans. It can either be private or public. Um, the two different ones that I was reading about was about our Medicare and Medicaid. So Medicare is basically the coverage for 65 and older, um, or people that have a disability, no matter your income. And then Medicaid was a state and um, a federal program in which covers a very low income people. So even if there's people with low income, they should know that they can qualify for their Medicaid, which some people don't know about um, as much, you know, they just believe everything out of pocket. Um, but they'll work together as to provide healthcare coverage and lower cost as well. Um, in Japan, the healthcare system is more efficient and equitable um, system that protects many Japanese citizens, even if they are at a disadvantage of not being able to afford insurance at all. So um, that's like a, a good, um, I would say, benefit of being in Japan just because their healthcare system takes care of everyone, even if you don't even have a job. Um, everyone has to have an insurance like everyone has coverage no matter what like no matter what's going on in their life uh, basically um, what else is there Japan has a full coverage no matter their class um, and it's been like that for 60 years now so I was pretty good I was it was really um, interesting learning about Japan how they're just basically covered for no matter their class because i know here if you're rich you're not covered and it's just sad to like you know how we're varied in classes like it's just to me seems like we're all people we're all humans that we all you know should have a have health care coverage because you know um so the universal health care system basically means that all people have access to health care service um, as they need or when they need it um, without like financial hardship as a way. So it's like full coverage of health service, um, prevention, treatment, and even just care in general. So that's really great to hear that J Japan does that for their people because um, I believe that everyone should have like at least a checkup throughout a year you know and some people don't even get checkups nowadays because of the cost and um it just there's financial hardship i believe more in united states united states rather than in japan just because of that it's just like it's just crazy to me um i don't know i don't know if you ever like thought about thought about it in a way um because i sure did not <laughs> Um, so Japan's healthcare coverage is made up of a national healthcare health insurance 
which is what we were talking about, the universal health care coverage, um, in which the government um, has managed plans, society managed plans, and mutual aid associations that fund the pillar. Um, so that's great to hear that they are covered no matter no matter what. Um, and let's see. So the universal health insurance is also called public health insurance in which consists of three parts. That is a health insurance in which employers um, and their dependents is makes that. Um, national health insurance is like agriculture workers, self-employed and retires. And then health insurance for the elderly that are over that over the age of 75 as well. So the high um the life expense expect expectancy in Japan is higher than the United States um as well. So I feel like also the healthcare system plays a role into it because um they get their checkups um on a regular basis rather than more of the United United States um citizens they don't go get checkups as much and also i feel like the nutrition uh, plays a role in this um as to you know we have so many fast food um fast food fast food places here uh rather in japan and also they have more of a um healthy they're known for more eating more healthy and also they have like um home remedies as well so you know that plays a role too as to people having a higher life expectancy over in japan um than united states so the united states healthcare coverage is um made up of let's see federal government state government and commercial insurers as well as self-insurance so people can either find their own plan or sign up um by their employer and then as like i said talked about medicare it's a program for 65 and older and medicaid for low income class so in a way too united states has their healthcare system built up in different forms where people can choose their own path um so the i was reading about um uh, the population's outcome and like risk factors and it's shown that the obesity rates in united states um is higher compared to japan so like i said nutrition united states can better more as well and healthcare could get better in a way for our united states healthcare citizens our healthcare our united states citizens could be better in as to those obesity rates to lower down um so let's see and, and then i also read about the improvement of health um literacy in japan so the japanese people are one of the world's uh, longest life expectancies and it's believed in due to the preventive lessons um about compared to others so the study was about how educated people they educated people and even the participants came out with a different mindset as to they gain skills and knowledge to transform their views and behaviors after receiving like this um information um uh, so the individuals were motivated and the healthcare practitioners were able to preserve and promote their own health as well as health of their families and others around them so you know it's a great way that you know they in japan these people like learned how to better themselves and their health overall um and japan's has an um has a longer wait time though i could say the cons in japan is how they have longer wait times and ambulatory clinics the appointments and the appointments also take a few minutes so i feel like that could be a little better just because a few minutes in the health um, in the clinic overall or hospital wherever um not hospital but more 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 likely and they're like appointments as their checkups it could be a little longer just because like you don't know within those few minutes you can get all of the information like if they're okay and also you know 
like a regular health check you know what i mean um there is shortage just the emergency rooms as well because of the low pay that's the one thing in japan that um it is low in cost but the amount of people that don't want to work in the healthcare just because of the low pay is kind of sad um and overall the shortened physicians and long hours with little pay is what i guess people think about and they're like no you know let me go going because of the little pay um and primary care in japan is also less effective than in the united states and the emergency rooms and hospitals uh, services are more quality in the United States rather than in Japan. Just because we have more staff, um, only because of the United States offers high pay, it has more staff as well. So that was the pros um, of the United States, having more people, more staff overall um, and higher pay, which I feel like keeps citizens happy. Um, both, but both overall have a great um, independent organizations that um, that cover healthcare that covers people's healthcare costs um, and overall cost effective care to all individuals in Japan and the United States. And then I will be linking on the bottom my references as to where I read from if you're interested into reading more about it. But thank you.